Hey guys, it's Eitan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited. It is episode three of Eitan's Outdoor Summer Cookout and I have Shlomo and Shifra from Fleishix Magazine and I'm super excited. We are making something very cool. <laughs> To be here. Yeah, and this is one of our favorite meat dishes to make, and that's saying something because we do meat. Fleshix, um, those you yes. don't know, in Yiddish, am I right? Yes, yes. In Yiddish it means, means meat. meat, which is the name of the magazine. And Pretty that's cool. like a big focus of ours. So we're going to be making Korean short ribs, mm -hmm. um, and we are so sweet, excited about sweet that. Sweet and spicy? Sweet, spicy, umami, everything. It gets that sticky, sweet, delicious. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to be making the marinade for the Korean short ribs. And it starts with gochujang. So we're gonna put about a quarter cup of gochujang in the bowl. And for those who don't know, what is gochujang exactly? Gochujang, it's a, we it's like, a cool word to say, I feel it's like gochujang. Gochujang. Kind of fun. <laughs> yes, and we like to think of it like Korean ketchup. It's like that all purpose seasoning that goes mm -hmm. into everything. But it's it basically, hot. yeah, it has a spice. It's a combination of fermented soybean and chilies mm -hmm. um, that are combined together. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. There's a little bit of spice. It's a really great general ingredient. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to put um, very popular right now. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I've never cooked with in. it before, so I'm very excited to try yeah, it. Yeah, it just gives that like amazing flavor that you can identify that takes everything the next level. So mm -hmm. that's why it's super exciting to use it, and it makes it more authentic Korean. Korean. That's yes. what we're doing. Um, so I just put in, um, I'm doing, I'm doubling the marinade. I like to double the marinade mm -hmm. because then you can set half aside and you have more for glazing and more for dipping. Oh, that's cool. Um, so the next ingredient we're going to do is some fresh ginger. Um, so we're just going to get that grated. Do you have to peel it? Um, no, we don't have to peel it. Um, with When you use ginger, especially in marinades, you don't need to peel it because... I never do that. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, you're not really, the peel isn't anything that's going to bother you. Secret Korean ingredients in most marinades. Is that is applesauce? Applesauce. But I, I was yes. looking at it like, what is that ingredient? Yes, it's applesauce and it just helps tenderize the meat. Um, a lot of a little sweetness probably. Yeah, also. it's sweetness. It adds body to the marinade or whatever sauce. About a tablespoon. Um, I'm also going to put some rice vinegar inside. I, I just like it. I'm still not getting over the fact you don't have to peel it. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally didn't know that. I always spend the time yeah. trying to peel and everything. That's cool. It's going to put some rice vinegar and some sesame oil. So toasted sesame oil is just like Yeah, it's just like, it's very, you want to use very little always because it's yeah. very flavorful. And then is that honey? And that is honey. Um, you can also use agave. I like to add it at the end. First, I like to mix the marinade, taste it, see, do I really need that extra sweetness? Mm -hmm. So it's really to taste and it's up to you. So you mm -hmm. just simply pour the marinade on top. And then I love comes, recipes that are just like that easy. Yeah, this is why it's so fun to cook outside. Yeah, it's fun cooking outside. It it's is. nice, uh, nice weather. Korean shake and bake. By the way, you want to do the shaking? <laughs> we have to get the ear out. We're doing this together. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. So do yes. we want to let this marinate for a few um, minutes? So we're going to set this aside, let it marinate, and then we're going to get it onto the grill. All right. So our meat has been marinating, and now it is time to grill it. But yes. first, are we going to do something over here? So really, you just do them whole. If you want, you can cut off the edges. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you get that nice green edge, and you can leave this whole. And then you yeah. have these beautiful um, scallions. They're also great garnish. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is get them in your bowl. Need a little oil? Yeah, go for it. All right, here's Drizzle little... some oil on it so it actually won't stick to the grill. A little bit of seasoning, salt. some, yeah, some salt, salt, pepper, pepper, and you're good to go. All right, so I think, should we now get over to the head over yes, to the grill? Yes, let's head over All right, to so you bring grill. that. I'll bring our this. plastic bag over here. And... Okay, I literally cannot wait. You guys don't even know how good this is. It's amazing. All right, so um, should we first put those on maybe? Yes. All right, so here, I'll grab this. There we go. Okay, you just get them on the grill. So. And now, time for the meat. You can already hear them sizzling. Shlemmy's going to work his magic on the grill. Get this nice and hot. It is already. Alrighty, here we go. Get that sizzle. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. That sound. Okay, that already smells incredible. So good. The aroma of the gochujang oh and the God, sesame oil. Oh my God, yeah, that smells oil. so good. It Look, is even the color. so, Look at that color. so good. This is likely going to be one of the best ribs you are ever going to taste. And the craziest thing about it is how quick and easy it is to do, I think. Do you notice how bright and vibrant the scallions got? They yeah, already those started look to awesome. cook. And um, basically you flip them once you see that you got that like nice golden color on the outside. And now we're going to do the Ooh, same for the ribs. We oh, got those nice really, grill really marks. Gorgeous. That, that is looks stunning. Good. 
and you just flip them. At this point, if you want, you can brush them one more time with the sauce. Ooh, look at those grill marks. That oh, that looks stunning. so good. The best. So a little bit extra sauce to, just to get it like get it going. super flavorful. Yeah. Um, that's really up to you. I and that's why we reserved sauce. it on the side. All right, let's get off these scallions. I'm gonna try not to let them fall. And now actually, are these going in the cutting board or right on the side here? No, they're right on the, right side. On the side. They make the ultimate side dish mm -hmm. to the ribs. They look they, at yeah. that. Oh my God, these Gorgeous. look fire. Okay. You can serve it like this, but if you wanna like amp up the presentation. Let's make it a little bit fancy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just get some sesame seeds on it. All right, we let them cool down a bit because we were all like burning ourselves. We we're like, oh, we could do this. And we're like, <laughs> nope, that is too hot. All right, but let's give it a try now. It's you, still you pretty hot. Anything. All right, yeah, it's, it's definitely handleable. You want more? Oh, you're going to have this off. All right, I think let's just go ahead. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Got flavor there. Mmm. Sweet, spicy, tangy, and delicious. Juicy. All right, that was seriously delicious. Um, this was so much fun. Like, I cannot wait to literally gobble this up once we're done filming. Um, all right, so let's give you a second to pitch your magazine. Hashtag not sponsored, uh, but this is honestly one of my favorite food magazines right now. Well, that yes. should be sponsored. One day, one day we'll have enough yes. fun. Um, yes, it's our barbecue issue. We spoke about before how Felicia's is all about meats, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of other things in it. Ironically, because it's kosher, there's also a lot of vegan recipes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really um, cool. Yes, and you can see more about it on flatechicks.com. Thank yeah. you guys so much for coming today. I will link yes. all their information down below. Give them a follow, subscribe to the magazine if you want. Uh, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, it's um, always fun to grill and cook meat, so. Super fun. Anytime. Yes. I'm gonna just gonna take this on the way out. So. <laughs> if, if you want, uh, we'll split it. Uh, if you guys haven't already, be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed watching. Comment down below, have you ever cooked uh, with short ribs before? Are you going to make this? And if you do, be sure to send us pictures. We would love to see it. Hit that big red subscribe. Do you think they should hit it? Oh, hit it now. Yes. we got to get to 20,000. <laughs> yes. It's big, it's red, and it is free to click. So you may as well click it. It'll be the first time I post new videos. And yeah, this is super fun. Okay, I think we're going to now fight over the rest of these ribs because, oh boy, it's good.